she released her first spring-slash-summer collection with I Saw It First in March. And Olivia Atwood proves she's still making strides in the fashion industry as she wowed in skimpy outfits for her second collection with the online fashion house. The reality TV star, 30, released the first images of her collection in a video posted to her Instagram on Thursday. The influencer looked stunning in an orange cut-out bodysuit and her blonde locks styled in sweet pigtails. In another clip the beauty wowed in a baby blue bikini with a matching bandana, with the set embellished with sea creatures. The former Love Island star also looked sensational in a beige knit crop top and high-waisted matching shorts on a pink runway. Olivia took to her Instagram stories to explain the inspiration behind her collection, saying it was a Barbie doll slash fantasy theme that represents her perfectly. Alongside the Instagram reel Olivia wrote, It's coming Huns. My second collection with I saw it first Monday 14th June, cancel your plans because my new summer collection is dropping and you seriously don't wanna miss it. This is Olivia's second collection with the brand, the first drop featured graphic sweatshirts, dresses, tennis skirts, loungewear, denim, gillets, and lingerie. At the time an insider revealed to The Sun on Sunday, Olivia is a huge signing and cost the brand a lot of money. The influencer has gone from strength to strength since she appeared on the reality TV show Love Island in 2017. The source explained, she is super popular, her fans love her straight talking and funniness, so they will love her wardrobe too. Olivia is a huge signing for the brand and cost a lot of money, but I saw at first know she will be a sellout. They revealed the reality star is over the moon to score the deal and can't wait for her fans to see what she's been working on. Olivia and her fiancé Bradley Dack, 27, are the stars of the Ib show Olivia Meets Her Match. Recently the couple have expanded their family and brought home a pet dog named Lola. The couple gushed over the new addition who they adopted through the pack project to their household in a heartwarming clip from the show. In the new episode, the pair arrive home with Lola with Olivia carrying her in her arms as she shows her where she will sleep. Speaking to the camera, Olivia says, here we go, Lala's coming home. Lola Dak in the house. Olivia is then seen bringing Lola inside as she says, good girl. What's that? This is your home. That wasn't so bad was it? She is so cute. I love her so much already, the former Towie star gushed. Olivia previously shared a series of snaps of their adorable new pup on Instagram, explaining that the five-month-old dog had been found crying in the snow on New Year's Day in Romania. Olivia looked as glamorous as ever as she shared the news, flashing fans a smile as she cradled the floppy-eared Carpathian-slash-German Shepherd mix in the garden of her Manchester home. Olivia recently took time out of her busy schedule to look after her Blackburn Rovers beau. Explaining little Lola's background and urging her followers to adopt, Olivia posted a lengthy caption alongside the photos. I think I have made you all wait long enough. Meet. Lola, the reality star began. Brad and I have waited years to get a dog, and I can't believe she's actually here and she's ours. And what I can believe even less is that we get to have this beautiful dog as part of our family because someone else deemed her not worthy of being an heirs. We think she is a Carpathian, German Shepherd dog mix. Five-ish months old. Lola and her siblings were found crying in the snow on New Year's Day in Romania. 
after being dumped. Luckily, the incredible at Carefer Dogs Row managed to find them just in time and got straight to work with at the pack project took to try turn their fate around. She added, I had been speaking to the absolute wonder women Laura Walker, founder of the at pack project, about an older dog that was looking for a home. We both decided that possibly our home wasn't right for that particular dog, and then Laura mentioned Lola, she sent a couple of pics over and I fell completely in love. The following weeks took lots of planning and unimaginable work from at the pack project took to get Lola and so many other dogs to UK to start their new lives, the ones they deserve. Concluding her post, Olivia warned her social media followers they should expect plenty of dog spam in the coming days, writing, OK I'll stop now, but now you are officially in a dog spam danger zone, you have been warned. And I'll be on my stories soon sharing lots more about the At The Pack Project took, and our reality of getting Lola to settle into her first home experience and answering any questions you have.